Hi everyone, I hope everyone is feeling well. Good Erev Shabbos Kodesh, Pashas Achremos Kedoshim. If you are looking for resources for how to make this Shabbos more meaningful, please visit pikesvillejewish.com forward slash keep Shabbat. pikesvillejewish.com keep Shabbat. There are articles there, there are questions on the Parsha, there's Parsha sheets for children, there's activities. Please visit that website, print stuff out before Shabbos and be prepared to make your Shabbos more meaningful. I wanted to share a quick story from the, the famous Dubna Magid. Dubna Magid says that there was a king long ago who lived in his kingdom and he had this precious jewel. It, it was the most precious thing in his life. And every day, every morning, he would take it out of its velvet box and he would examine the jewel and he would look at it and he would revel in its beauty and then he would put it back in the box and lock it away. One morning he wakes up and he pulls the jewel out of his box and he looks at it and there's a big crack running up the middle of the diamond. And he's horrified. This is his most precious item. This is his most precious jewel. So what does he do? He puts out a decree in the whole land. Anyone who can repair this jewel, anyone who can repair the diamond, will get ad chatziah malchut, will get whatever they want, up to half my kingdom. And of course, the line straight away forms outside of the castle. People are, are ready to, to try to repair. And everyone looks at this crack, jeweler after jeweler, um, repair person after repair person, and no one, no one can repair the crack. The last person in line, the Dubna Magad says, was a, a short little Jewish old man, didn't break five feet. He hobbles into the, to the palace and he says, uh, your, your Royal Highness, I can repair the diamonds, but I need, to, I need you to trust me absolutely. If I don't repair it to your liking, in fact, you can kill me. You, you can take my life. That's how confident I am that I can repair this, this, uh, this diamond. So the king says, okay, I have nothing to lose. No one else can repair it. He gives the diamonds to the jeweler. The jeweler comes back days later. Full of pomp, full of circumstances, thrilled at his accomplishment, and he pulls the diamond out of the velvet bag and he shows it to the king. And straight away, the king loses it. He still sees the crack. You didn't repair the diamond. The jeweler calms him down and says, Look more carefully, look closely at the diamond. The king leans in and sees that the crack is indeed still there. But around the crack, the jeweler has etched leaves, and on top of the crack is a rose. The Dubna Magad says that the, the message of this story, the message that this jeweler was trying to give the king, is that life gives us cracks. Life is indeed a precious jewel. Our lives are a diamond with no value. And every single morning we wake up and we take out that diamond and we say, Moda Anat. Thank you, God, for giving us this diamond. And at times like this, we, we see a crack forming in the diamond. And we're horrified. We're in despair. How are we going to repair the crack? Dumna Magad says the goal isn't to repair the crack. The goal always is to try and beautify the crack. This week is the uh, 30th anniversary of the uh, release of the movie uh, Dead Poets Society, right? It was a movie that shaped anyone who grew up in the 90s. It shaped our experience. Robin Williams, brilliance in that movie, and almost every movie he was in was overwhelming. But that movie, one of the messages of that movie was that life gives us so many cracks. The question is, how are we going to beautify that crack to make it into a flower, to make it into a rose? Kadoshim you, the Torah says this week. We should be holy. So much of what enables us to be holy in our lives, shul, Torah reading, each other, community, so much of that has been taken away. So the challenge that the Parsha presents for us this week is Kadoshim to you. How, irregardless of the crack that has formed in our diamond, how are we still working to be holy? Ask everyone to still try as best they can to maintain the social distancing as the doctors have instructed us quite clearly. We're not through this yet. We're beginning to talk about coming out of it. We're beginning to come talk about, hear from our governor, 
what recovery looks like, but it's only going to work if we maintain the, the intensity around social, social distancing. Thank you to every single member of our community, every single family who's taking this incredibly seriously, who understands that yes, it's a crack, yes, it's a desperately difficult thing for us to be living through. It's taking its toll, especially now after Pesach. We're really feeling the difficulty of this, but we're getting through the crack. And our challenge, our work today, is how to beautify that crack. Wishing everyone the sweetest, most meaningful, most healthy Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.